Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, <coughs> excuse me. <clears throat> I've been away a little while. I apologize. Uh, but I am back with a new video. I always try to uh, come back uh, with videos. I will keep making videos. I'm sorry. Sometimes there's long pauses and delays in between videos. But I've seen I picked up a lot of new uh, subs. And I want to thank you. Uh, without putting out a video in a long time, I've actually picked up a few new uh, subscribers, quite a few, excuse me, didn't mean to shake the camera, and uh, and I really appreciate it, thank you guys, thank you a lot, um, and thanks for all my old subscribers for sticking around and, and being patient and waiting for me to uh, come out with a new video. Um, having camera issues... I know I always have camera issues. I need to just get a new, new fucking camera. But it is what it is. So I am have to do this one on my cell phone. Um, as you can see from the title, this one is about a flashlight. Um, as you can see, this actually comes in a two-pack. Uh, same exact flashlight. That's why I'm referring to it as a flashlight. Okay, um, now I picked this up from... Uh, the local wholesale club and I couldn't pass it up first of all it's 500 lumens for a uh, a handheld flashlight I think it's a pretty good deal um, now you've seen my other videos and I've done a giveaways on the other flashlights that I have that are pretty much about this size and those are usually about uh, I think anywhere from 150 to 200 lumens so this blows those out completely out of the water. But they work the same way. The same aircraft grade aluminum body uh, knurling on the sides. And we'll take a closer look at all of this. I just want to run through some things briefly. Um, I wanted these uh, for a couple of reasons. One, 500 lumens on its highest setting is insane. Um, two, every time I buy flashlights from this store, uh, they always come with a package deal and I always get more than one light, uh, plus the batteries. And you can see that it's not those cheap Chinese, like, uh, green and white batteries or whatever they are. Those are actual Duracell batteries. And it's usually a complete kit, so I, you get a lot for your money. These are selling right now for, uh, I think it's $29.99. Um, yeah, 30 bucks. So for one flashlight by itself, insane deal. 500 lumens, aircraft grade aluminum, um, and we'll go over specs. Insane deal. One of these flashlights should sell for almost three times that amount. Um, but you get two, you get the batteries for them, and you get wrist lanyards for both. But then on top of that, they had a uh, coupon sale where it was $5 off, so I actually got this whole deal for $25. And the way I look at it is, this is at least $5 worth of batteries here. So I got two of these pretty impressive flashlights for $20 uh, plus tax, $10 a piece, in my opinion, probably worth about 10 times that, uh, without even exaggerating it. If not for the two, you, you know, for if not for one, at least for the pair. Uh, so, you know, let's go over some of the specs here. Uh, here it is, most of it in writing. And then here is it in picture form, as we've all seen. Sorry about the shaky camera, guys. Uh, I'll try to stabilize it in uh, post-production um, so it's not as bad. But like I said, my phone, uh, my phone. My fucking camera's acting up, and my all on me, all I have on me right now is my phone. But uh, give this a moment. Let's see. Focus, 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 focus. Five hundred lumens on the highest setting. Two hundred ninety-five. Oh, this really is shaky. Two hundred ninety-five lumens on the low setting. So even on its lowest setting, it's still brighter than the brightest flashlight I have on its highest setting right now. Um, which is pretty damn good. You're talking about 300 lumens on a low setting. That's that's pretty impressive. Water resistant. Now, 
doesn't mean that you can go diving with this and take this underwater. Rain, snow, uh, splashes, it's not going to affect it. It says that it's impact resistant uh, from one meter. So you, if you drop this from a meter high, you won't break the glass. You won't, you, you know, you probably scratch, maybe even dent the outside, but your, your flashlight will still function. Um, beam range from the lens to the furthest spot that the light will hit effectively almost a thousand feet uh, so right now you're talking about over three football fields that's that's pretty impressive now I this is another reason why I bought these and I these caught my eye runtime on high seven hours I think uh, the best flashlight I have right now is a runtime of two hours on high four on the low this has 10 hours on the low beam and like I said the low their consideration of their con uh, <laughs> consideration what they consider to be low is 295 lumens to get 295 lumens for 10 hours that's I to me in my opinion that's great I know there's a lot better flashlights out there but like I said this money the money that I spent on these insane phenomenal now we'll start from the bottom because the last thing I want to talk about is something at the top aircraft grade aluminum it's it's gonna last you a long time now if you see my other videos including the giveaway video the smaller ones that I have that are very similar to this uh, to these flashlights here have three settings they have uh, well four if you want to get technical they have a high a low a strobe and an off this one has a high a low a strobe a moss code SOS and an off so the SOS is actually uh, an extra feature that I don't have on my other flashlights and as bright as this is with the distance that it shows the SS the SOS feature is a really great feature and um, that's another reason why I'm glad I got two because one is gonna go in my bug out slash survival bag and the other one um, since I keep that bag usually in the car or I'll bring it you know with me um, and carry it back and forth with me this one is either just gonna stay in the house or might be given away to a buddy of mine I'm not sure um, now this is just a tabletop review when I get fully into these flashlights and I see how they work I and I can honestly swear up and down by these flashlights that they're the greatest things since sliced bread I might actually even do a giveaway on these I'm not sure it depends on how much they impress me and what exactly I like and dislike about these now back to this list um, high power um, actual true Cree LEDs so they're gonna last you pretty much a lifetime uh, weather resistant we went over high low beams along with the uh, the strobe and the SOS now this is what I wanted to show you also it's a sliding zoom wide and narrow this is what they're this is what that is now a lot of you already know but for those that don't I'm gonna talk about this um, you can see these arrows on the uh, flashlight heads um, and it says you know up to zoom in down to zoom out this is the thing a lot of people don't like that design and that's fine uh, they say it's a weak point um, this is more like most likely where the flashlights gonna break I agree with all of that I think it depends on the flashlight and I know a lot of guys are saying well you don't have one of those two hundred dollar flashlights three four five hundred dollar flashlights this is not gonna hold up that's gonna be the weak point you're fucked okay maybe maybe not we're gonna run through this and we're gonna see now what does that mean that means that there is a collar right there on the head of the flashlight and there's a lower collar on the uh, body of the flashlight and if you see here they're adjacent and touching and here there's actually a gap between them see here 
there's the collar on the head and the collar on the body and there's this gap so this is zoomed in this is pulled out while it's in the package and we'll see that when I take everything out but when it's zoomed in see zoom in narrow beam pulled up the way it is in the package it gives you this thin spotlight type of beam this 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 concentrated right there is where I'm looking I don't need to see anything else but right there now you put the you slide it down zoom out wide beam slide in for wide zoom you put it in you it has a special lens on the front that now causes the beam to separate so now you have more of a floodlight as, as opposed to a spotlight you have more of a floodlight that floods a large area with the same intensity and you can see in just a larger area instead of a more concentrated area um, so I'm going to get this going because it's getting kind of long. So let me just get this uh, open. I'll get a flashlight and a lanyard and a set of batteries out. And, uh, oh, side note, set of, a set of batteries. Two flashlights. They both take three C batteries. There's a set for this one and there's a set for this one. So they both, I have batteries for both of them. Lanyards for two flashlights, 500 lumens. Cree LEDs, uh, all the stuff that I mentioned, each comes with their individual lanyard, each comes with their individual set of batteries. Let's get this open and take a closer look. And uh, give me one second to get it out, be right back. Okay, so there it is, out of the package with the uh, lanyard set up. Uh, the head is now pushed down into that uh, zoom out mode. Um, it has a very smooth pull on it it doesn't just like slide up and down like you really have to put some pressure on it, it almost feels like your tailgate to your truck uh, I mean uh, to like a minivan or SUV it's very smooth and slow which is good because then if you look at the beam and try to do this with one hand here you do you look at the beam you slide it in and you have a very controlled and gradual zoom out and you could stop anywhere in the middle you don't have to pull it all the way in or all the way out I thought this was kind of interesting and cool I don't know how many how much you guys might like it but the fact that it it becomes like a square is uh, uh pretty neat um, the only thing I I've, I've noticed since I've opened it because um, I did want to mess with it before I brought it on camera that I didn't like is my other flashlights, you, you can cycle through them. So every time you click the button, it goes to high. Then you click it again, it goes to low. You click it again, it goes to strobe. You click it again, it turns off. Or during any one of those features, you can hold it off, hold the button down for like three seconds to five seconds, and it automatically goes, skips them all, and goes straight to off. This one, if you don't, if you don't click it, you just touch it. It's very sensitive and you just touch it and it cycles through the modes. So you're not actually clicking it. But when you do click it, it still cycles through the modes, but it's off in between each one. Then it goes off, then it goes to the next mode, then it goes off, and then it goes to the next mode. So kind of what you want to do is if you want to get to a mode, you, you kind of want to slightly just touch it. Don't click it all the way down. Here, let's get the light and me just touching it. See, so just And you can hear the sound when I click it, but that's not what I'm doing when I cycle through the modes. But I can click it and it goes off. Um, because it has a recessed push button, in order to protect that push button from breaking and last you longer, it has high ridge sides on the, on the uh, sides, which is fine, uh, but it would be a pain in the ass. You'd have to stick your finger in there if it looked like that. You'd have to almost like get your finger in there. 
So what I liked is that they've notched it right here so your finger could rest right in there. Um, honestly, for a 3C battery flashlight, it's not that heavy. Um, it's It's got some weight. And if you're walking the dog or checking the backyard out or, you know, walking through to the house doing, you know, a... Uh, a check and a sweep of your house this I don't see why this couldn't be I'm not saying it would survive and work properly afterwards I don't swear by that but I don't see why this couldn't be a blunt instrument protection weapon uh, so it's another good reason to have this on the nightstand and use it if you need it uh, when you need it um, even if you have a wife or girlfriend or the kids that aren't comfortable or not allowed to use firearms and they happen to be home by themselves, um, good weapon. Not only can I check the house and I can see what's going on, but I can blind you instantly so you can't see where I'm at. I can come at, you know, come at you, run at you real quick just whack you in the head or the face and just really disorient you especially with this fast thing this this little fast just tapping it not even having to push hard i can just put this in your face too because you're walking through the house uh yeah this might mess with your eyes in the pitch black but you can still see well you come across an intruder and this is strobing in their lot in their eyes at this intensity, you're going to disorient them. So if that gives you two seconds to run at them, quickly just start whacking them with it. This is actually a really good at-home uh, tool, I guess. That's a very good tool to have. Now, a lot of you guys don't like the lanyards. Sometimes I take them off my flashlights, but I like them. And let me tell you why I like the uh, lanyards on a flashlight. If it's that dark that you need a flashlight, if you drop this, it's better to drop it and know that it's attached to your hand than to drop it and not be able to find it in the dark. And a lot of guys say, well, if I have a flashlight and I'm looking around the house and I'm walking around the house and I drop it, I know where the flashlight is. Um, what if your batteries die and you're in the middle of changing the batteries so you'd screw this cap off it's not tethered to your wrist you drop the flashlight and it's pitch black and you can't find it now you're fumbling around with it while somebody has the opportunity to come get you um not only that it's black you know um you're if you drop this in pitch blackness it's it's doesn't glow in the doesn't have a glow in the dark body or anything like that. I've always said that that I understand that these companies want stealthy looks and all of that. But if you're gonna put your logo on there and stuff like this here, you should do this in some trit night type of glow in the dark paint or something. Um, I know a couple of my buddies actually do that. They'll put random spots of just like glow in the dark paint all over them, and then they're, it's able to be seen at night. Plus, that's another thing. You go looking for this thing at night, and you don't want to turn all the lights on in the house to find this thing because you hear somebody in your house and you don't want them to know where you're at. You know, it's nice to say, Oh, well, it's by my bed. Okay. You're startled awake. You're half asleep. It's pitch black. You go reaching for it. You know, you don't know where it is. You can knock it over. At least if it has this lanyard cord hanging off the side like this. What I like to do is when I leave it by the bed. Um, I don't know if this big one will work. I usually do it with my smaller ones. But I, you can rest this on, a, uh, on your alarm clock or something. Something that's giving off a little bit of light so you can see. You know. And then you know you can you always know where the alarm clock is. You guys smack it every morning. You just put your hand on the alarm clock that's sitting there. You grab this. You don't knock it over or anything. You can gently pick it up. Get your light on. And go see what you got to do. Now, unfortunately, guys, it's I did this during the day. I should have did this at night. But it's very bright in here. As you can see, it's bright as day in here. And uh it's so it's hard to really tell exactly how bright this light is, but um, 
it is very bright. Trust me, it's 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 almost too bright. And uh, to try to give you a better idea, is there's a window covered in sunlight. You see the light on there. You see the sunlight coming through that little crack there. You can't see the sunlight anymore. You can't see that little spot of sunlight. Now look, sorry to blind you. It's snowy outside. This camera's picking up a lot of light from the snow and the sun and everything that's out there. Very faint. I don't know if you can see it. I know I can. But you can still see it on the, around the windows. I don't know if you can see if the camera's picking it up. But I can definitely see it on the blinds. You know, you can definitely, definitely see it. So... This is a fairly bright flashlight. But like I said, this is basic tabletop review of this flashlight. Um, I'm going to run it through its paces, try to test it out, and see if I can... I mean, as from what I can see, do I recommend it? Yes. In depth? I don't know. We'll see if it can stand up. I'll throw it in the bag, I'll drag it around with me, and I'll see what I can do with it. And try to come back with another video and let you guys know. And like I said, if I really, really love it and I can get my hands on another uh, another pack of them, maybe I'll do a giveaway on these. Um, unless I can find something better. I don't know. Like I said, this is just my initial um, tabletop. Uh, my initial uh, feelings and ideas about this flashlight. But, um, but I like this. I really do. And uh, I hope I like it uh its functionality and its you know usefulness and I, I i really hope this becomes one of my favorite flashlights i i really want it to be but i'll keep you guys updated i'll let you know this video is way out of hand so i'm kind of cut it short now uh thanks guys for sticking around waiting for a video um thanks to all my new subscribers and uh stay tuned more to come thanks guys have a good one